Yo, what's going on guys? Mr. Enforcer, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to continue the Illinois Dynasty here as we play host to Iowa. And we'll see what we can do here. Of course, we're 3-0 on the season. So we'll see how we fare against Iowa. It's our first road game and the first uh, road test of the season. So let's get into it and let's see how we fare. Of course, here again is the uh, team stats. Of course, if you look at the bottom for our defense, we're top 10 in three different categories. As they're about top 15, top 20, and about three on defense as well. Uh, they have a way better offense, it looks like, than we do. So we'll have to see, of course, what happens. Offensively, here's the top players for them. Here's the top players for us as well. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. With these two defenses on the field, this game might not fit the modern definition of flashy. Unless your definition of flashy is some guy flying in to light somebody up. Hits will be delivered often, and they will be delivered with authority in this game. Which offense can manage that best might determine who comes out on top. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Here we are to start the game. Illinois versus Iowa. Foster in the pocket. Nice pass over the Campbell here on a quick third and 16 as he gets 22 yards and he picks up the first. Second and 11. Foster play action. He's going to get sacked on the play and bring up third down. Third and 18 after the sack. Here's Foster. He's going to get sacked again and they'll bring up fourth down for Illinois. First and 10. Hands off to Pennington, right side. Here he goes, he gets a 14 yard pickup for the first. Third and three here, play action, Thomas. The beautiful pass as he gets 22 in the first. Second and seven, here's Thomas, nice one-handed pass. Or one-handed catch to Freeman for six yards, bring up third. Here we are on that third and one. And he's gonna get sacked by Warren, it's gonna bring up fourth down and eight. Second and 10 after getting pinned in their end zone. Nice pass from Foster to Campbell. He gets 11. He gets the first down for Illinois. First and 10. Hands off to Quinn. As he gets his first big gain of the evening of 10 yards. Second and inches after the Quinn run. Here's Quinn again. Here he goes. Trying to get some breakout and yardage here for a gain of 8. First and 10. Play action. Foster. Nice pass over to his main man Parker. 17 yards, he picks up the fighting Illini first. Second and eight. Play action again, he's gonna get sacked on the play for the third sack of the evening by the Hawkeyes of Iowa. Third and 16. Play action again, Foster. He's gonna escape pressure. This time he gets sacked and fumbles on the play. As Clement recovers for the Hawkeyes as they'll get ball and they'll set up shop with first and 10. Second and six, Pennington. Escapes the tackle and he gets tackled short of the first and they'll bring up third and two for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Here we are, third and two, the handoff. The back tosses, he will get the first down after a gain of three yards. Second and three, Thomas, the quick pass to Freeman. Freeman's been to get into it as he gets a nice 10 yard play and he picks up the first, first and 10. Thomas, pass, Pennington again. Gain of five. Second and five here. Iowa trying to get in striking distance. Hands off Pennington. He'll get stopped just short and he'll bring up third and three. Third and three here. Iowa. Half back toss and he will get stopped short and he'll bring up fourth down. 
Here is the field goal. They decided to kick a field goal, and it is good for 3-0 to zero Iowa, as we'll take it inside for the studio for the quick update. Third and 10 after a quick three. Third down, nice pass. Foster the Campbells. He gets 13 in the first down. First and 10, Foster. Pass deep, and that pass is going to be intercepted by Gordon. Terrible play there by Foster as he trucks a guy. And that's going to be Illinois' second turnover on the evening. Second and 10. Thomas, the pass to Freeman. And it'll be short of the first down for a gain of eight, and it brings up third and two. Here we are on that third and two. Thomas is Ward Gambles, and he'll get trucked on the play, but not after the first down. Third and three. Play action. Nice pass to number 88. As they'll get tackled inside the 20 for the first down for the Hawkeyes. Second and eight. Hands off to Pennington right side. So we'll get a gain of six, and they'll bring up another third down and two. Here we are, third and two, right before the half. Thomas, as so they'll get incomplete, and they'll settle for fourth. Here we go with the field goal is up and good for six to zero. Iowa lead. Last chance before the half. Foster's going to get sacked on the play for the fourth sack of the evening. Last play of regulation. Foster, the deep pass. It is incomplete. Which will bring up fourth down, but it'll be the end of the first half with Illinois going with a shutout so far for the first half of the season. And this first half will play against Iowa's. We'll be back in the second half in the start of the third quarter. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's, it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run it the reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Here we are, third quarter. Iowa up 6-0. Thomas, good defensive play by Illinois, and they'll bring up a quick fourth down and the punt. First and 10, first possession of the second half. Nice play by Quinn, and so get a good gain of nine yards. Second and one. Hands off to Quinn. Here's Quinn breaking out the biggest rush of the evening for a gain of 11 and the first. Fourth and six is a field goal attempt is no good. Another missed field goal. First and 10, hands off Pennington. Here's Iowa, here he goes on the right side of the field. Breaking tackles for a 24 yard rush for Iowa. Second and two, Thomas. Nice pass to number 88. And so fumble on the play. Recovered by Davis of the Fighting Illini. As Iowa will get their first turnover on the evening. As we will have a quick booth review to see if he was down before the fumble. As that's going to be really close. Let's take another look here at number 82. As it looks like his knee was down. Yep, his knee was down before the fumble. So it should pertain to Iowa's possession. Let's hear the call. Really on the field's reverse as Iowa will keep possession. Here's Iowa, second and eight. Pass almost intercepted by Holt, but to bring up third down. Third and eight, Thomas. He's going to get almost sacked on the play. Pass is intercepted by Logan. 
as Logan's having a breakout season. Here he goes past the 40 yard line as Illinois gets that stop they need. Third and eight here, Foster. Pass. Jones incomplete. Bring up a quick fourth down. Third and eight, Thomas. Pass. Beautiful pass to Gray as they'll convert for 11. Second and six, Thomas. He's going to get sacked by Ward. Brian Ward continuing his fantastic historic season. Third and 12. Thomas sacked again almost. He'll bring up fourth down here in the fourth quarter. Illinois will get the ball. Second and 10, Foster. Pass wide open to Parker, his main man, last two seasons. And so get to 29 yard catch for the first. Here we are. First down, nice pass again, this time to Jones. 21 yard reception, he gets the first. First and goal, Quinn hands off. It'll be stopped just short of the first down for second and goal. Second and goal, hands off, Quinn touchdown. Illinois ties the game, looking for the extra point to go up one here midway through the fourth. Here is the extra point. It is good for Illinois, seven to six lead. Here's Iowa, hands off to Pennington, left side. He'll get stopped just short of the first. He'll be third and one. Third and one. Play action, beautiful pass over to number 82. As he'll get tackled about at the 46-yard line after the 20-yard catch. First and 10, Thomas. Pass again to number 82 as he's finding his target for another second and short. Second and inches, play action, nice pass again. The number 82 for the 10 yard catch for the first. Third and six, big play here, Thomas. Pass again to number 82. His third straight completion to him for the first. Second and five, hands off to Jones, will be third and short. Third and one, hands off, Jones, touchdown Hawkeyes. As Iowa will take the lead here late in the fourth quarter with two minutes and three to go. This is for the two-point conversion. He drops it. He doesn't get it. And huge drop and huge break for Illinois as we'll take it to the studio for the update. Take you out to a battle in the Pac-12. This is a game we've been watching closely today. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. California leads it 24-21. One last shot for Illinois. Second and 10 pass to Parker. He connects. Third and 15 now. Foster pass. Parker drops it and it'll be fourth down and they'll have to go for it. Fourth and 15. Here's Foster. Pass. Converts it to Parker. Inside the 35 down to the 34. First and 10. Foster, nice pass to Jones inside the 20 to the 16. First and 10. Excuse me, fourth down. Pass incomplete as Iowa will hold on to win another game against Illinois. And that will do it, folks, as the Iowa Hawkeyes gets their second win against Coach Red Orange. Last year coming with the mid-game adjustment at quarterback with Foster in. This year, Foster starts and Illinois loses another one. As we have an ESPN Classic game, of course, here's the player of the game, Robert Washington here for defense. And that will wrap up another fantastic week here of Illinois football. We'd like to thank you guys for tuning in for another week of Illinois. As Illinois drops to 3-1 on the season with a 12-7 win for the Hawkeyes. As we'll see you guys next week for Illinois. Stay tuned for the post-game recap for Illinois football. Okay, guys, I know, I know, we lost. Uh, it's pretty ironic, too. If you watch my college basketball series, um, <laughs> I lost my first game against Iowa as well at their place. Pretty ironic, right? <laughs> um, so, man, this is the second time we lost to Iowa in this college football series. Um, obviously, they're a tough team. Uh, they, it was a pretty much a basically a fantastic defensive game. There's a lot of highlights again on that show because they're like three yard rushes, six yard passes from both teams, and that's kind of boring to watch. So I mean, it, it was just fantastic defensive plays from both teams, uh, as you've seen, uh, with the only score being what 12 to seven was the final score. So of course we'll have to do better next week. But as for this week, man, um, Foster will show some of his stats in a second. 
Um, but Iowa did a good job. You know, they ended up uh, up a 6-0 lead early. And we weren't able to do anything too much offensively. Only really one drive the whole game, kind of. Maybe two or three at max. Of course, we had that missed field goal, which kind of killed. Which stinks. But, hey, that would have definitely uh, changed the game, of course. So, let's take a look here at our stats. Of course, here's Foster. 11 for 25. Okay, that's okay. I mean, we need him to do better. 177 yards. He had that one touch or interception, which we need to stop. Of course, he passed for 44%. Average about 16 yards a pass. He was sacked six times, though. So we need our offensive line to just guard our guys. Quinn with the worst outing of the season. 18 rushes for 71 yards. Of course, he had was one touchdown, which is awesome. But we need him to just do better this game. Uh, it's kind of hard, though. Uh, their rushing defense was actually kind of crazy. Here's the MVP of our game. Foster, you seen. Or, uh, excuse me, Parker. Four catches for 93 yards. Holt had a couple good plays. Clark, uh, he, of course, Ward, the guy I use all the time. Had a fantastic, uh, fantastic couple plays as well. But yeah, man, I think we have to do a lot better. Um, defensively, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with how we played defensively. We didn't allow for two crazy plays, and they only scored 12 points, so that's definitely a plus. I think the biggest thing with this team is going to be offense. Um, and who knows, maybe it's just this one game, but we'll have to see coming up. We have a tough game uh, next game. Uh, against the team, which I'll share a little later on here in the video. But yeah, man, I think we have to play really well. We need to cut down on our uh, turnovers. And we need to cut down on some of the stuff that happens. Okay, of course, here's the team stats from both teams as well. Um, of course, if you want to pause it and take a look at it, you can. But I'm just going to scroll down really quick just to show you guys. Only two turnovers today, which is okay as well. So we'll have to do better at that. Of course, here's the top 25 with Virginia Tech. <laughs> Uh, number one, seeing Alabama is number two. Uh, you've seen, of course, the suck eyes of Ohio State barely cracking the top ten. Uh, another season we don't play them. I'm not sure if they're scared of us. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want to play Ohio State at all in this game. So, uh, so you know, if we don't have to play them ever, I'm okay with that. You know, unless it's the Big Ten Championship. Here's the conference standings after week five. Of course, Wisconsin overtaking us in the leaders' division. We're ahead of Michigan, Nebraska, Penn State, Minnesota, and Purdue. Of course, here's the legend. Somehow, Rutgers is still undefeated. When in real life, they still can't win a game with the Big Ten, barely. Of course, Iowa was after them. I'm going to show the rest of the conference standings as well. Again, just to sh show you guys, of course, we just don't look at our team in the Big Ten. We like to look at everyone to see how everyone's doing. Notre Dame, we see they're 4-1. and one. Uh, We don't care about really the MAC too much. I mean... I mean, who's scared of any Mac schools, honestly? <laughs> uh, here's, uh, of course, uh, both sides as well, if you want to pause it. Mountain West. The only team I'd ever be nervous about from the Mountain West would probably be Boise State. Of course, here's the divisions as well. Uh, Pac-12 is, of course, there's a lot of teams. And there's one team in particular that we will be playing here next week. Tough game. SEC, obviously, the, one of the toughest conferences in the whole nation. Florida's 2-3. and three. We actually beat them one time last year to start the season. Kentucky's football is number one. Of course, there's Texas A&M with Johnny Manziel. Uh, the Sun Belt, which I'm not sure if there's any fans of the Sun Belt. Here's the ACC, <laughs> of course. Um, another tough conference, of course, with Clemson. Same with Dominic in real life the last several years. Here's the American Conference, which, again, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can probably beat every team in this conference. But I'm not trying to slander every team. I'm just saying, in general, I'm not scared of most divisions. Big 12, of course, with only 10 teams. But, hey, you know, I'm kind of curious if they're ever going to change their name from the Big 12 now. Big 10 has 14 teams, which is kind of crazy, and they're so-called the Big 10. Of course, here's the Heisman Watch, of course. Johnny Menzel still leading the way here. Oh, there's a running back now. LSU. I like to see the running back from Illinois named Glenn Quinn. Take that. Of course, we'll look at championship contenders and what they project us to be. Of course, we're ranked number 42 right now. We'll definitely try to increase that coming in later in the season. Here is the players of the week for week number five. Of course, UConn's quarterback in Wake Forest's cornerback. And lastly, we'll take a look here at toughest places to play. Let's see if we 
ever go up past number 49 at all. Of course, if you want to suck at any of them, you can pause it. Feel free to. As we went up by one, we're number 49. Sweet. All right, guys. So here's the team we'll be playing next week. A tough game against the number nine team in the country, Washington at Washington. Be a tough game, so we'll see how we fare against them. So if you guys want to see that video, go ahead and subscribe. And hit that bell for post notifications let you know every time I do upload a video. If you like this video, make sure to go and drop a like and leave a comment. Let me know that you did like the video. If you're new, go ahead and check the description below. I have links to the playlist as well as my social medias as well as my other channels. Got two posts on other channels as well. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys next week against Washington. Deuces!